Hi and welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about Microsoft Outlook and the rather annoying pop-up box that you get every time you log into your uh, Microsoft Outlook application where it asks you for a username and password. Um, in this video we're just going to look at how we can prevent that from happening and correctly storing your username and password on your local machine um, and therefore preventing the pop-up from irritating us anymore. Um, if you find this useful please do click on the like button, hit subscribe and tap that bell, it helps the channel out massively. Um, and with all that said, let's jump on into Outlook. Okay, so here I have an example of um, my Gmail account not um, actually sitting correctly within the Microsoft um, Outlook application. Um, so in this particular example here, it's um, asking me to actually log back into my um, Gmail account um, where it will then store those credentials onto the machine um, and therefore would not have this pop-up box um, keep reappearing. Now, this is just a Google um, login. You may have one that is slightly different where it actually looks um, more like a um, Microsoft um, pop-up with a username and password uh, dialog box. Um, each one of these will vary depending on um, what kind of email that you have linked with your Outlook. Um, so all I'm going to do here is just proceed through here and actually um, just type into this my password and keep it logged in and allow that back in. Um, now that's just going to synchronize everything. I'm just going to close that for now. Okay, so now within Microsoft Outlook, it thinks um, that it has the correct username and password for my email account. Now what we're going to do is actually going to show you where to find those um, login credentials within your um, control panel and how to A, remove them um, and then be able to trigger um, the correct credentials actually going in. So the problem usually happens when um, you've ha either changed a username or password outside of your computer, your local device. So if you've done it through a web portal, something like that. Um, and what will happen is you'll have different credentials in the cloud than you do on your local machine. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you where to find your local files so you can delete them um, and then go back into um, Microsoft Outlook and save the correct credentials in. And then by default, that will prevent um, the pop-up box from coming up again. So what the first thing we're going to do is just kind of come over to our search bar in the bottom left hand corner and type control panel and we'll give that a click. Now this pop-up dialog box will appear and the first thing that you're going to want to do is actually change the view by from a category to large icon or small icon. So I'm just going to click on large icons and this then opens up all of the various options within your control panel and um, without having to navigate through a tree of different options. What we want from here is to actually just navigate over to an option called credential manager. Give that a click and then you'll have two um, tabs appear. One is for web credentials, which I have none, and the other one is for Windows credentials. So what we're going to do is click on the window credentials and scroll down until we can see the generic credentials section. Under here, um, you will have all of the various um, accounts that you have set up on your device and you want to navigate to the one that um, represents the email account that you're having problems with. Um, so for me, it is um, just here um, under Gmail. So I can see this particular part here where it says office data, blah, blah, blah. And I can see um, when I hover above this. Um, that it's a Google IMAP account, right? So what I want to do is actually just from this toggle button um, until I have edit and remove. Now you can edit directly into um, this particular credentials. However, it's actually better practice to just remove them completely and then save new credentials in. Um, so all I'm going to do is click remove and then confirm that I'd like that to be deleted. So I'm gonna click yes. I'm then going to scroll back down and I'm going to find another um, credential. So um, for me, um, with a Google Gmail, I actually have multiple accounts here, um, all set up with um, 
IMAPs. So what I need to do is actually remove both of these from, from my Gmail account. Now you may only have one credential that you need to delete, um, but you want to make sure that you only delete um, the user credentials that um, are not working for you. Um, obviously the more you delete, obviously the more you're going to have to put back in when you enter different applications anyway. Um, but usually just find the um, email account of concern and delete that one I am credential. Okay, so with that deleted, what I can now do is go back to my Outlook application and close it down. Now, once I've closed that, I can then navigate back over to Outlook and open up the application again. And this time, it's going to ask me to actually add in a, another um, password, right? So the pop-up has, has occurred again. And the reason that this has happened is because we deleted those credentials. So we can go through the process here of entering in the password again, pressing enter on that, um, signing in and allowing if um, you need to, obviously depending on the um, account, it will vary as to how many things you actually have to log in to. Um, I'm going to allow that. And that for me now has logged me back into my email accounts. And just to test this, I will close out of Outlook again. I can go to my credentials here and I can see that they've been added. Um, and I'll just load up Outlook again. And this time I've had no pop-up dialog boxes. Everything has synchronized correctly um, without any issues whatsoever. Um, and I can navigate over to my inbox um, without any problem whatsoever. Um, and that is it. It's um, it's pretty basic and simple once you know where to navigate to find your credentials within your local machine. Um, and once you've done that um, and you've deleted those out, you can go ahead and then basically um, reinstall those credentials um, by logging into the applications themselves. If you found this useful, please click on the like button, hit subscribe um, and tap that bell. Uh, it really does mean a lot to the channel. Um, and I will catch you guys in future videos.